Well, as business becomes more complex and competitive, traditional financial measures of performance fail to give managers all the information they need to make intelligent, strategic and day-to-day -day decisions. A powerful new means of delivering this information is called the Balanced Scorecard, a mix of financial and non-financial indicators about customers, internal processes, organizational learning, shareholder value, quality and community relations. Well, the Balanced Scorecard enables managers to speed up continuous performance improvement and create value through developing internal and external accountability. Well, our guest today on the program is an independent management consultant and trainer and expert <laughs> in the field of corporate performance management. Alan Fell, thanks for coming on Inside Business today. My pleasure. I mean, how do you, what's your analysis at the moment of the, the financial situation? I think I'd take a, a fairly standard view in terms of the, the global impact and the sense that none of us are immune from the pressures that we're all suffering from. Uh, where I think uh, the, this downturn is interesting and is going to become very interesting is how winners and losers emerge from it. I think clearly some organizations are going to uh, come out of this uh, in a much stronger position than they go in, particularly in relative terms to their competition or relative to the marketplace as a whole. So I think the challenge for businesses is going to be to survive the next 18 months or so depending on what view you take of the long-term uh, impact of this downturn, mm -hmm. and then be in a position to prosper afterwards. And I think it's getting that balance right between survival now and positioning yourselves to prosper in future. I think that will be the challenge for organisations. I mentioned in the introduction that um, business has got more complex and competitive. I mean, do you agree with this? Very much so. I, I think both the, the competition is clear around the world. I think in every field, communications have helped to bring more competition in, in virtually every field of business endeavour. And I think the complexity is there too. We live in a more complex, faster changing, more regulated, more disciplined world. So I think for every business, uh, it's more complex and it's more competitive. It's more difficult to win. Now, what about the balanced scorecard? Tell us about that and how it can actually help business, particularly right. here in this region. Very much. Well, as you said in your introduction, it, it's a feature which has been around now for 17 years, uh, introduced originally from Harvard, and it's, it's very much a focus on businesses understanding the strategy of the organisation and translating that into clear, explicit, measurable terms where managers can be held accountable to execute the strategy. And the real underlying theme and the, and the reason for the, for, for the scorecard, and I think the reason for its global success, is the fact that it helps managers execute the strategy more effectively than perhaps we were collectively able to do 15 and 20 years ago. But how can people actually, you know, in companies, um, learn mm. how to use it effectively? And what kind of time span would that take? The time span to implement a scorecard from start to finish until you have it thoroughly embedded in the organization and cascaded at different management levels um, clearly varies depending on the complexity and the size, but an average of 18 months, two years would be normal for a medium or larger business. Uh, so I think that's, that, that, that process of implementation is pretty well established and it, it's a well understood process. I think just in terms of knowledge, um, conferences, other events, and, and as ever, the internet provides a vast amount of information on this and any other subject you care to think of. Now, uh, Alan, from your vast knowledge of finances and the financial mm. world, um, what do you think of these new stimulus packages that are being brought in now across the globe to help economies? Uh, are they going to work? Uh, first of all, I'm a supporter of stimulus passage, uh, packages generally. I think it's a good thing to do. Whether they will work, I think, will depend on how industry and governments really respond. It's fine for leaders, and one obviously thinks of the new US president, in giving leadership on these issues, but will business, will local government, and will personal behaviour really respond in the way that is hoped? And frankly, I think the jury is out on this. I think there are a lot of people with fingers crossed and hoping that the good intentions behind the stimulus packages will actually deliver what, what we wish. Now, from your training seminars and, mm. and conferences that you hold, um, what issue comes around time and again? 
In terms of developing a scorecard, which is where I'm really focusing, uh, some of the issues are purely about the process of implementation. So how do, how do we go about actually selecting the right measures, the right KPIs for our balanced scorecard? Some are concerned with the practicality of software applications to help support a scorecard. But I think there is an increasing recognition that the real challenge, as I was saying before, is using this type of tool effectively. So as the market matures in the use of a scorecard, and as companies get more experience themselves, I think increasingly the focus is, how can we use this new tool to best effect? Alan Fell, appreciate your time today. Thank you very much again for coming into Inside Business. Thank you, my Thanks pleasure. Well, there we are. That's it for this edition of the programme. You can contact us by writing to ib at city7tv.com. For now, from all of us on the business desk, goodbye and have a good weekend.